Hello, in this video I'm going to aim to teach you how to use the table function on uh, Casio um, calculators, uh, these three. Um, uh, and I'm going to show you how to use it in order to check if algebraic fractions are equal, um, and if you simplify them correctly, and also uh, how to, I'm going to show you how you can use it to fill in a table of values for um, drawing a graph. So I have three calculators, I have the fx 83 gt Plus, the uh, 85 FX85 GT Plus and the FX83 GTX. Now these two calculators are basically identical in function. The only difference is this one has a solar panel, um, and this one is newer and more up to date and more advanced and easier to use and better. Um, you can do more of it. So I'm going to be focusing on this calculator, but I'll, I'll also show you the method on these two. But the focus will be on this one here. So. I'm going to start off by showing you how you can simpl uh, check simplified um, algebraic fractions. First thing we need to do is put the calculator into the correct mode, that's table mode. So we can do that by pressing menu up the top here. And then you can either use an arrow keys to navigate over to it and press equals. Or you can uh, press the n corresponding number, which in this case is 3. And as you can see, we are presented with this screen. Now here we can enter the first algebraic fraction. So what we'll be using is 5x subtract 25 over 10x squared, uh, which simplifies to x subtract 5 over 2x squared. So, um, yeah, we have to enter the first fraction, which is 5. Now to get x, what we do is we press alpha at the top here, and then x down, uh, then the bracket down here, which has x above it in red. And we get 5x. So 5x subtract 25 over 10x squared. And then we can press equals. And now we can enter the second fraction in much the same way. So which is x subtract 5 over 2x squared. And then we can press equals. Um, presented with three different options here. Uh, for now we can ignore these. Um, the defaults are fine for our purposes here. Later on I'll show you how you can change these and what happens when you do. But for now, it's not important, so we can just press equals. Um, and that takes us onto this screen. Uh, here we have a table with four columns. Uh, the first one has the row number. Uh, that's not really important. Second has the value of x that is being substituted into our two fractions. And then the third and fourth show the original fraction uh, and the simplified fraction, what it's equal to when you substitute in this value of x. And, as you can see, these two are identical, and that means that we simplified the fraction correctly, and all our working is correct. Um, if you hadn't simplified correctly, um, most numbers would be different. Uh, you might have one that's the same, um, which is just, like, coincidental. Um, yes. So now I will show you the method on uh, these calculators. So, first we have to get into table mode, so we press mode at the top here, and then we press 3, and we're presented with this screen. Now, to save time, I've already typed in the, uh, the fraction over here, um, so now we can press um, equals, and as you can see, we are not given the option to enter another fraction. Um, so, again, we're presented with options, but this time, one at a time, we don't need to change them, so you just press equals, equals, and then equals. If we did want to change them, I'm just going to say now, you can just type in, like, 10 equals. We don't. Um, I am just going to put that back to 1. Perfect. Um, but, yeah, we would just go through and press equals, 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 like this. And we're presented with this screen, three columns this time. We have row number, value of x, and what the fraction is equal to. Um, now what you need to do now is note down these numbers, or remember them, memorise them, and then you would have to do it all again. You press all clear, all clear again, and type in the new fraction, and check the, uh, the other fraction. Okay, but that's enough of these calculators, and we will now, uh, from now on, be focusing on this calculator. Now, what we're going to do is do one more example, slightly more advanced and complex. 
Um, and we press all clear to return to this screen, and then all clear again uh, to be able to enter a new fraction. Um, and we will be checking um, 8AB subtract 16B over 24AB, which is equivalent to A subtract 2 over 3A. Um, so the first one, we, uh, as normal, we have to type in the fraction, but here we can only use the variable X, so we must swap out A for X. Uh, there is an A variable, but um, we can't use it here, we have to use X. Um, and then again, we can only use one variable, uh, we can't have AB. Um, so we're going to have to swap out B for a static value, in this case let's choose 2. Um, because A to AB is equal to 8A times 2, or 8X times 2 in this case. Um, and subtract 16 times 2, and you could just put that in as 32, but it's a bit quicker, easier like this. Uh, in general, um, X times 2, and that's our first fraction. Now we can, again, we're presented with the old fraction, so we have to press all clear. And then we can enter the simplified one in much the same way. So x subtract 2 over 3 um, a. This time we don't need to substitute um, in a b because uh, they've all been removed when simplified. So we can just press equals. And now, again, we can just leave these values the same. They are not important right now. Um, and again, we have presented with this table. As you can see, all the values are the same. So therefore, these fractions have been correctly simplified. Um, it is much the same method if you want to check a more complex fraction than this and this. You should be able to figure it out. Okay, now we will move on to filling in a table of values. So, I've drawn this example out on this square, uh, spare graph paper I had, or squared paper. Um, so, I have this table at the top, I, and we will be checking it for, uh, we will be using the equation y equals uh, 2x squared plus x subtract 2. So the first one we must do is enter that in, um, press on clear to clear it, and then enter this in to um, this screen. So we want 2x squared plus x subtract 2. And we don't enter in the y equals, we, we are just entering the bit after the equal sign as we are calculating what y will equal. Then we press equals. Now we don't need a second thing. We can just press all clear. Um, and just ignore that and press equals. Now here, as you can see, we need to check for the value, uh, values from negative, values of x from negative 2 to 3. So, at the top we can enter negative 2. Go down. Oh, sorry, press equals. Uh, it goes down for us. Then we're ending at 3. So, press equals. And we can go up in a step of 1. Now, if you were to change the step, that would change what you go up in. So if you click 2, uh, if you entered in 2, it would go up in 2s. We don't need to go up in 2s, we need to go up in 1s. If you needed to find a decimal value, you could go up in 0 0.5 or 0 0.1 or whatever you need. Here we can just press equals. And we are presented with the table once again. So here we have the value of x, and this is the value of y. So here, negative 2, we can enter in 4, and then... Negative was a bit hard to see. But negative 1 uh, then equals negative 1. So we can enter that in. Um, 0 comes out as negative 2. Uh, 1 comes out as 1. Um, 2 comes out as 8. And then 3 comes out as 19. Um, now, if it turned out that we actually also needed to find x equals 4, we can navigate down to the seventh blank row um, and press equals. And as you can see, it calculates it for us. But we don't need that, so we can just ignore it. And we can now plot the graph um, much the same way you always would. So um, x equals negative 2, y equals 4, x equals negative 1, y equals negative 1, uh, 0, negative 2. Um, one, one, two, uh, two, and eight, and three, and nineteen. Then you can join them up with a smooth curve as you always would, like so.
Um, ooh, close enough. Uh, I've never been too good at drawing curves. Um, smooth curves. Um, and there we have it. We have simplified. Uh, we have filled in the table of values. Um, now it's you sh it's similar for these two calculators. You should be able to figure it out uh, based on the first example I did. Uh, it's not too hard. Um, okay, there are many other things you can do uh, using uh, this table mode on a calculator. And I hope this video will uh, enable you to be able to figure it out for yourself. It's quite fun to mess around with it. Um, calculators are fun to play with. So, yeah, now you know how, you can have a play of it. By the way, to get back into normal mode, you press m menu or mode once more. And then you can just press 1. And you're back to normal calculations mode, as you can see. So, um, yeah, uh, that's that. That's all I want to say. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.